Welcome back everybody to A&M Homestead. My name's Alan. Wife over there is Marcia. She says hey. <laughs> uh, we've got a action pack. Well, not action pack, but it's it's a it's a very busy day for us today. It's gonna be up close to 90 degrees out, but we got a big breeze. Hopefully you can hear me over the breeze. But we gotta pick as much as we can off the tomatoes. The hornworms are in full swing right now for us. So we gotta do everything we can try to get all the tomatoes that we can because we only come here once a week so we're going to be picking some of our peppers our green peppers and alpinos going to weed eat then we're going to put some of the garden to bed we're going to put a tarp over it we're going to cut the corn down there and hang up the stalks and then i'm going to weed eat all the way around the pond and some other sections so we have a lot to do and we're going to try to get as much done before it gets too hot and but we will take a break for lunch and then we'll hit get back at it again so come on what this is going to get busy Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do now, Marcia has made the official decision. We're going to go ahead and just pick all the tomatoes. Since we can only come here one day a week, that um, we are just going to go ahead and just pick all of them, even if they are green, and we're going to hope that they turn. Because the hornworms are just invading really bad. So, the vines. Huh? And the marigolds. Yeah, the, marigold, the morning glories. Yeah. So we're just going to do that and um, we're, we'll pretty much be done with the tomatoes. So guys, that's kind of a blessing right now. So. One more tomato. All right, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pick all the ripe tomatoes and we can't decide if we're gonna leave the green ones yet. There's not as many hornworms over here. We got, I don't know, what, five, six of them probably? About a handful of them, so, I don't know, we're still up in the air about it.
All right, so we are in the cornfield. No, we are not children of the corn, but to, today we're going to go ahead and harvest all this. And we might do it the wrong way or we might do it the right way. But we're going to have fun doing it, so come along with us. Okay, while well, Marcy is over there shucking the rest of her popcorn, um, I'm gonna go ahead, I gotta get the weed here fired up. I got a lot to weed eat, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. It'll, it'll probably take me pretty close to an hour probably to weed eat everything. So, we'll be right back. Well, we got everything all weed eated, and we got it somewhat covered. It doesn't look the greatest, but the sweet potatoes over here the vines and everything were growing over the tarp. So it'd just be a pain for us to be, have to flip all those vines and then reset that. So we just pulled that out. We just pulled it out a little bit more to cover. Because I weed eated this whole entire row here. And then we pulled that. Now we're just putting some uh, pieces of wood down on it just to keep it held down. So Marcia, she's, she's over there right now. She's... Uh, Unfortunately, pulling her flowers because we're getting ready to work on those rows. We're starting to close up most of the garden. So we're getting closer. Okay, so we got the uh, trellis all taken care of. Got it broke down, done. Now we're going to go take a lunch break. So, y'all just go take a break real quick, be right back. All right, we are done with lunch. It was really good. We had a very hearty salad. So what we're going to do now, this is our, this is the biggest job that we have had so far in the garden, is we're going to tear out all the corn stalks. We're going to remove this tarp, and we've got a bigger tarp over here at the strawberry patch. You can't see it, but it's, it, it's a jungle. We're going to take that, and we're going to lay it right on here, and it'll cover, it'll cover almost half the garden. So we're going to do that. It's a lot of work. Still got more planned to do, but we don't know if we're going to be able to do it. It's a lot. We've done a lot today. Kind of sad to see Marcia's flowers. Big old pile of flowers just right over there. Sad to see them go, but it's that time. So I better get to cracking. We got a lot to do, so here we go.
Well, I got all the corn out, as you could tell. And I tell you what, that was a job. I ended up having to just use some limb trimmers and just cut it off at the bottom. And hopefully my weed eater will be able to cut the, the rest of the corn out. Probably won't, so I'll have to figure that out. But now we got to, I got to weed eat all this. We're going to attempt something, I think, possibly. We're thinking about trying to keep the marigolds at least one of them anyways so <clears throat> may end up digging one up and seeing if we can save it but i don't know that's an awful big plant so but yeah i gotta get the weed eater out weed eat this row then we're gonna uh, dig that marigold out maybe and then we're gonna put the big tarp over it so we're getting closer Okay, we got dug around all around the marigold. Yeah, we're gonna try it. We don't know if it's going to work or not, but there goes nothing. Okay, so now you see I got that all weed whacked, or some people in the south will say, uh, was it weed whipping? <laughs> I got whipped a couple times. I may have to get that one, honey. Uh, we're getting ready. Marcia is starting to take off all the weights on the tarp, so I'm going to 
spin you all around and we're going to start working on this. We got some tarp moving to do, so we're almost done. We're getting close. Well, we got the tarps on. They are completely on. They got we got them weighed down with bricks and with a piece of wood and everything. So today was a fun day. It was interesting. It was wasn't too bad out heat wise, but um, we had to all the all the vines from the sweet potatoes. If you could tell, all those we had to flip those all up just so we can get that tarp right underneath it. So they've outgrown, I think that, I think this row here where the sweet potatoes are, I think it's like four or five foot wide. I can't remember, but I'll, I'll correct myself here. But <clears throat> today was a really good day. I think we did awesome. We got a lot of work accomplished and I just want to thank Marcy. She, she's such a trooper. She, she worked really, really hard. She always does. And... So, and we should have done the tarps earlier because we're just whooped. We still have more stuff. We got to load up the truck and head out. But we got a pretty good bounty of tomatoes and some jalapenos and some bell peppers. So, but yeah, today was a great day. We got a lot done. And I got a little surprise for you. I'm glad y'all are hanging around. I got a little surprise for you at the end of this video. Make sure you watch it. Okay, and you put some comments down below. So, till next time, talk to y'all later. God bless. Bye. If you can hear me. We've got our first broody hen. She's been sitting on those now for about four days. I'm just going to bring y'all along on the journey with her. It's going to be pretty exciting. Hopefully some hatch out. She's got, she's got plenty of time. So it ain't going to get too cold. So we're going to keep you up to date on that.